Today I'm going to be sharing some editing tips on my phone, but first let's run the bumper. What's up everyone, my name is Claudio. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time and you want to learn more about photography, how to make videos, and all sorts of creative topics, you can start by subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Welcome to the third and last episode for now of my Snapseed video series. I hope you've enjoyed the previous ones. If you haven't had a chance to, you can check them out by clicking up here. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna share some editing tips. I'm gonna show you some of the ways that I edit photos using Snapseed. You get to check it out. You can take photos from this and make them look like this. Okay, let's take a look at Snapseed here. We're gonna launch some photos, maybe do a couple, depending on the time. We're gonna go ahead and tap and open from my device and search my folder. I have there a Snapseed image and I'm gonna pick this one here. This is um, down in Waco, the silos. Uh, the family that have the uh, fixer upper. Uh, this is the place here. So um, I took this picture. It was a cloudy day. And uh, if you look at the bottom right now, I have the option to choose some of these different kind of filters that are already set up. So right off the bat, I mean, I can go ahead and change them and be done with it right there pretty much. But what I want to do is take you to some of the custom options using the tools. So with the tools, you have different ways that you can edit your photos. Um, you can add frames to your pictures. So if you want to share them on social media, really great. There's some portrait options there. Um, let's see here. You can go with a vintage look there. So you, right there, you have kind of a vintage look for the photo. Choose the different kind of presets you have here, similar to what you see on different social media applications. And then at the bottom, you can go ahead and make it brighter. At the top, you have your menu option there. To kind of almost give it a vignette type of look kind of like that there and then here at the bottom you have the you can touch the photo there and do the same thing let's go ahead and finish the saturation give it more color less color depending on what you're looking for you take the photo and really be creative with what you want to do so um give it more color there and let's maybe dial change here, see what that does. And give it a little more. Well, I kind of like that right there. Kind of cool. And then at the bottom, you have the strength of your vignette. You give it more of a vignette, less of a vignette. Just slightly, just a little bit here. And then give that uh, checkbox here. If you are okay with it, you can go through and do some different effects with it. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and leave it the way it is. I'm gonna tap on export. I'm gonna save as a copy so I keep my original. And when I go into the library, I can see that I still have both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up another photo here. And this one is from a couple weeks back. Well, now a couple weeks when you're watching it, maybe uh, a long, long while back. I'm going to share with you a photo that I took while I was taking a bike ride here. And right now, if you notice, kind of like the blues aren't consistent here. So kind of want to play with the the blue there so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see here let's take a look and let's see what drama does here Ooh, right off the bat I kind of like that right there and these are the, again these are the presets that are there make it brighter day darken that day up really go dramatic with your photos um, that one right there cool adds a lot of grain so you kind of think about that you make it more grainy I want to go back to the drama one and then I can, again, I can go with making it, give it more strength, less strength, more strength, less. Well, I'm going to go really dramatic here. I'm going to like over, overdo it. Just go super dramatic. More color. I kind of like that. Less color. I'm going to go with some more dramatic color there and leave it like that. Kind of happy with it. And go with save as a copy. Again, keeping my original intact. Um, let's go and do one more here. So I can kind of show you the different things you can do. Um, and last one here I'm going to share with you is this picture I took 
So for this one, I took this shot um, while I was in Austin. There's a place there called Lucille, and I want to go with a really dramatic. I want to make that red kind of pop, kind of almost like glow. So I'm going to go with the glamour glow here. And, you know, I can choose the presets there. You know, there's a slight change for that one right there. The, the dark it kind of darkens it, and then that red kind of pops out. But then I can further make that glow even more. So let's see what that does. Lighting, give it more glow. Saturation, maybe. More saturation, maybe less. About right there. Warmth, make it super warm, cold. Give it a little more warmth. Let's see what else we got. Okay, I'm kind of cool with that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and again, export this, save as a copy so I keep my original. All right, so I'm gonna show you the before and after shots of each of these, as well as put the tool that I use for each of them. So let's go ahead and check them out. And that's how easy it is to take your photos in Snapseed and change them up, give it a little bit of an artistic and creative look to them. Remember, save a copy so that you always have your original intact. I hope you learned something new today. Have fun editing your photos. If you have any questions or any comments, please do add them in the section below and hit that like button. If you want more tips about photography, learn more about making videos and all sorts of creative topics, you can do so by hitting, clicking, tapping, whatever on that subscribe icon here. Don't forget to click on the bell for your notifications. Thank you so much for watching and be good to one another. Peace. I'm out of here.